All right, so to make a teleporter, the first thing you want to do is create one actor down here, blueprint class actor, and just call this BP teleporter, and then open it up. Once it's opened up, you want to go over here to add component. You want to search for cube right here. Name it pad or whatever you'd like. Press R and scale it down to make it pretty flat. Not super flat, but if you need to adjust the scaling more finely, you can press this up here and set it to like uh, the slowest value right here. And then you can make it super thin without it being completely flat. Next, we're going to have to hit add again and add a box collision. And you can name this collision and scale it to be the same size as the pad. And then drag it up a little bit like so. Make sure it doesn't hang too low under it, but having it hang lower is all right. So now we can compile. And save this and this is all we have to add to the teleporter so now we can actually work on the functionality of the teleporter and there's one other thing I want to add teleporters are always red and blue so I want to add that and to do that you come over here to the construction script and you want to add a new variable right here and call it red question mark or blue question mark it would just be the opposite of whichever one you want it to start out as and then click this little eyeball right there drag out red question mark get red and then while pressing B left click and it'll add a branch and you can hook red up to it like that and then drag out your pad and do set material And then copy and paste this right down here. Connect it up to true and false. And make sure you drag your reference to the other target as well. And so now we got to make two materials for this. So minimize your teleporter. Right click and do material. Name it M underscore red. And then another material. M underscore blue. Open up either one of them, the blue or red, it doesn't matter. And drag in a, a right click and do vector constant three vector right here. And just drag it its base color into the base color. And over here on the constant, you just want to set this to blue. And hit OK. And then save it, close it, and do the same thing on the red, constant three vector right here. And then hook this to base color, and the other one, and this one's the red one. So click your color right there, and just drag this up, and drag that up, and hit OK, and then apply, and save. So now we can head back to the teleporter. We can close out of that material red. And whenever red question mark is true, that means the platform is red. So we want to select this and do M underscore red. And put red for the material. And on this one, we want to do M underscore blue. So now we can control if the teleporter is red or blue you could do whatever colors you want you could have custom materials whatever you want in here you don't have to do red and blue or you could just not even do this step it's not required but the next thing is required and that is to create another variable and we need this to be other teleporter like that and press enter and now this is going to have to be a 
VP teleporter right here and do object reference. And then once again, make this visible. And then we're going to have to add one more value. And this is going to be teleport location. And on this, make this a vector like that. And make sure this one isn't visible to everything. Just leave the eyeball closed. And for the other teleporter, what we want to do is drag this out and do get. And then we want to check if this is valid. If there is actually an object put into that value. And if it is valid, then we want to set teleport location or we'll set it not get it we want to set teleport location to its location get actor location and then drag this into is valid but if this is not valid then we want to get actor location of the self object and we want to set this as the teleport location. Just like that. Because if the teleporter is not valid or existing as an object, then we still need the, lo we're still going to be using the location, but we just want to keep it and teleport the player to the same teleporter, essentially. It's just a simpler way to go around it. So then compile and save. And now on the event graph, we can do, we can basically get rid of all of that. And then once you get rid of that, click your collision right there, right click and do add event for collision, collision. And let's do add on component begin overlap. And then on other character, do cast to third person character or whatever your character is you want to cast to that and then off of this you want to drag off and do teleport right here and as bp third person character drag that into target and destination location is our teleport location just like so so you can you can see how that makes sense now how we want to set still set the actor location to the same teleporter because if it's not valid we don't want to set it to like zero 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 or then the player will be teleported to zero 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 we just want to keep them at the same location and if you would like you can also come in here and add a add a delay and set the delay to like however long you want three seconds or two seconds and as well as adding a delay we need to add a do once to this or it could get kind of crazy so drag off your delay and have a do once and then for the do once reset we want to click our collision up here again right click add event collision and on the end overlap we want to drag it onto the reset this is just a thing you have to do because of the delay because if you run in and out of the delay over and over then you'll teleport multiple times and this just prevents you from running in and out and having each one of those teleports go off this is just saying that once we enter and then the delay goes off, then we only do this once until we actually teleport or we move out of the collision box. So then you can compile and save this and we should be all good to go. All right, so back in the viewport, you can drag out two teleporters. I'm going to put one right here and over here in your details panel is where you can adjust all your other values that we added. And they are right here under default. And we can do red. So we can 
check that to turn it red as you can see it's turning red and we can add another teleporter right over here make this one red and for other teleporter we want to drag our first teleporter in there and for this teleporter we want to drag our first one in there as well or well you could also just come down here and click it and select teleporter and make sure this one's this one's teleporter you want this one to be teleporter too and this one's teleporter and what adding this other teleporter does is it now allows you to have three teleporters see because this teleporter we could tell this one to go to teleporter one like that so now if we play it you press play stand on a teleporter and we get teleported so now as you can see there's a little bug with this and it's if we stay just stand here we keep getting teleported at times so what we need to do is open our teleporter back up for just a second this is something that I didn't think about but basically you just want to drag off this and do add and add another vector and in the X value you want to add like I'd say about 10 to it like that and then compile and save minimize this and test it out again 10 seems to be not too much so we want to add like let's do a hundred whatever value gets you a little bit away from the teleporter see we teleport and we want to stand just a little bit away just so we don't instantly teleport again and you can set this value to whatever you'd like I could set this to like 5,000 if I wanted to set it to 5,000 compile and save and then we can play and then I won't even teleport to the same location at all this is just this that value is just to buffer so you're not in the endless loop of teleporting but yeah that's how you make a teleporter in Unreal Engine if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.